Ex governors in prison. Another day, another corruption scandal. We're a state run by a group of pirates. Dan Walker, terrible fall from grace. Top president charged in a mob connected insurance scheme. Corruption. It's our brand. Governor Blagojevich tried to sell the Senate seat vacated by President elect Obama. Congressman Jackson misused campaign funds. It never stops in Illinois. Since the late 70s, nearly 2,000 elected officials from Illinois have been charged and or convicted of corruption, with Alderman Ed Burke being the most recent. A new documentary takes an entertaining look at the state's crooked history. It's called Lincoln is Crying, the Grifters, Grafters, and Governors of Illinois. And the producers of the film, John Davies and Brian Callies, join us now. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us on, Robin. Good morning. Well, you Thank know, you. When, when I think of a documentary, 2,000 people that have been either convicted or charged, it doesn't sound like it's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brian and I have made a lot of films about Chicago. We've had a lot of support from your Dean Richards over the years. Yeah. And, but we realize that, you know, we're not exactly frontline guys. So frontline is that very serious documentary series on PBS. The only way we can take this story on is to do it with our sense of humor. It's also so depressing that if you don't laugh during it, you'll kill yourself. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, the joke's on us. So what, what did you find that was so funny, Brian? Um, well, you know, like John said, uh, humor is a way to sort of, you know, take the bitter pill, you know, take the medicine, if you will. But um, uh, one thing that was kind of funny that, well, I mean, you know, it's how you look at it, right? But one of the one of the stories that I thought didn't make it into the, the film ultimately, but there was an alderman who got pinched for getting uh, work done on his um, aldermanic office for free. And then literally 10 years later, his son becomes an alderman, same office, gets pinched for the exact same crime. So there's no learning going on here. Yeah. yeah. What makes what is it about Illinois that we continue to reelect people that seem to betray us? Your, your citizens, uh, one of the guys that we interview in the film says that a lot of your citizens suffer from Stockholm syndrome. They identify with their captors and their captors being the politicians, and you're just so used to having such lousy choices for candidates, you've gotten used to corruption. That's a very cynical take, but as we point out in the film, you know, Burke got reelected after he was charged. Brian, who was the lady from Cicero? Same thing oh, happened. Betty Lauren Maltese. Betty Lauren Maltese, yeah, she 85% of the vote, and she was under indictment at the time. And she still got, so, you know, so we don't really blame, uh, we blame the people and the politicians. You guys have just gotten used to criminals running your state. Sorry to say that. And Brian and I are both former residents. We were there for years. We now live in California. Yeah, so you're partly to blame. <laughs> well, I guess so. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I will say this, Robin. My wife is so proud today that I'm getting a chance to interact with you. Oh, and we live God. in California. Yeah. She just, Robin's the biggest star in the United States. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, huge, <laughs> huge. Thank you. That is so sweet. I, I'll ask you, though, you know, it seems like every state says, you don't know politics like Louisiana politics. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody complains about this. Did you look at other states to see, are we really that much worse? Or does it just seem like that because we're here? Let me just answer this quickly, Brian, because I have it. Dick Simpson, who's an Illinois politician and a professor at University of Illinois, has done a thorough study and yeah, you rank in the top five every year, along with Louisiana, yeah. D.C., New Jersey. Uh, but it's shocking that Illinois is in there, too. I mean, you, you also have a lot of good politicians that have come out of the state. But unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of them, both Democrat and Republican, have been caught with their hands in the cookie jar at one point or another. And you guys are just willing to accept that. In fact, you find it funny and a lot of your news personalities thrive on it because it pays their wage. Mm. Brian, do you offer any solutions or is it uh, just depressing? No, I think there are some solutions. I mean, I don't, I'm, again, you know, John and I are not uh, 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 politicos and we're not pundits and we're, you know, this is like sort of a observation after sure. living in the city of Chicago for, you know, many years. And also, you know, I got to remind everyone, this is really a love letter because we love Illinois. We love Chicago. We love the people of Illinois and Chicago. We just, we think they deserve better. But Dick Simpson, you know, a resource that we pulled from, he has a, a pretty good theory, too, in that Illinois, being the sixth most populous state in the country, has the most units of government by far than yeah. any other one next to it. There's something like 7,000. Some polls, you know, pin it at like 10,000. The next one, Texas. Yeah. So if you have that many units of government, 
you just have that much more opportunity sure. to steal. Yeah, and John, I got to push back. I don't. I don't think newscasters are thriving o over this. I mean, as you mentioned, it's in the newspaper. We, we, we this, this is out there. It's just the citizens just keep voting the same people over and over again. I don't know why you would blame it on journalists. Well, no, I don't blame it on journalists. Well, well I do a little bit. Guys like Mike Flannery, who are, is a wonderful reporter, and Walter Jacobson, another wonderful reporter, and Del Marie Cobb. You know, they've all said to us, "This has been their bread and butter for years." There wouldn't be so many uh, political reporters in Chicago if there wasn't such a crime scene there. And they even say it on camera in our film. Um, so I think that's what we mean by thriving on it. We're not suggesting you two rely on it. You guys cover wonderful things that have nothing to do with cruel politics. But we're talking about people in this state who've made a living and made a reputation. Look at Mike Royko, a legendary uh, journalist in Chicago. His whole beat was, you know, the crooked boss Daly. Uh, I'm talking about the father, Mayor Daly. So, yeah. you, you know, you are a good state to come to if you're interested in political corruption. You're, you're never too far away from a breaking news story about political corruption in Illinois. Well, the movie will be available on demand starting February 12th. It's called Lincoln is Crying. For more information, check out LincolnIsCrying.com as well as social media. Thank you both for being with us. Thanks, guys. And we just thank want to you. thank Dean Richards for his early support of this film. Thank we, you, guys. We will pass it along. Thanks, guys.